Okay, my name is Bishop Lafer. This is my week four research assignment. I'm going to show you how to scaffold an application using a command line tool called Yeoman, and I will be using Ember.js. Uh, Yeoman's pretty cool. I found it a little while back. It's a a uh, a tool for improving your productivity. It's called a a developer tooling ecosystem, but basically it scaffolds web applications. So I'm going to go to my terminal. I will make a directory and we'll call it uh, research assignment. And then I also want to go into that directory once it's created. Like so. So now I've created a folder and I'm in that folder. I'm going to say yo ember. And then it'll take a second, it's going to ask me if I want to include Twitter Bootstrap. Yes, I do. Now it's going to go ahead and build out an Ember.js application in that folder research assignment that I created. So we'll let that run. Yeoman's pretty cool. It's actually it's got a generator not just for Ember.js but also for Backbone.js, Angular.js, and along with a bunch of others. Any of these in the Discovering Generators page, any of these with the mustache is, means it's a an official generator and is uh, supported by the Yeoman team. See see there's one for Backbone and Ember in here. Angular.js being the most popular. I think Yeoman was created by a group of developers who work for Google. Um, it's, it's really cool though. See where it's at. It's still running. It takes a minute. Um, it's it works in hand in hand with a uh, with Grunt, which is a, a build system, as well as package managers like npm or Bower. And uh, it allows you to Grunt runs will run a server, a local server, so that you can build your application and test it, make live changes, and it f uh, automatically updates when you save changes to your files. It's pretty cool. And then the package manager, or Grunt will also build out your distribution file and include any dependencies. It's a really, really useful tool. Okay, looks like it's finishing up. Not quite there yet, but almost. Okay, there we go. So, what that did was it created a folder called research assignment so let's go find that here it is alright this is what it built in within the app folder is where all of the uh, application files are I'll go ahead and open this up with sublime text and show you what we got add a folder to the project so we can see everything just go ahead and open the app folder okay so what we got is it built out a HTML5 index file with all of our dependencies for our plugins, Bootstrap, and then these are all of our jQuery and Handlebar dependencies. And then within here, we've got controllers within our scripts, models, routes. There should be a default route. Go ahead and um, come back to the terminal, and I'll do a grunt serve, and that will start the local server and open it up, open up the application in my internet browser. So we'll let that go ahead and run real quick. And this is what the uh, app, just scaffolded app looks like. So we'll go into that within Sublime Text and we'll make some changes real quick. So if I add to this, say orange and green, In yellow, like so. Um, I haven't made the save yet. Let's shrink this real quick and see if it updates automatically when I save it. 
Yep, see? And then all of our new colors are right there. Pretty cool. So it, it puts a watch on all of your on this folder, so anything in this folder, if you make a change and save it, it automatically updates. It comes with a route and a store for local storage. It's pretty cool. It also has a generator, Yeoman also has a generator for um, Angular, which is really cool as well. And the uh, website is yeoman.io. Thank you very much.